Baron Theodore Enyo of Alton, a former businessman and conservative member of the House of Lords, was leading a rather obscure life as of this Monday. As Secretary of State in the Ministry of Education, he remained almost unknown to the public for three years. In 2020, he discreetly became chief combatant of the misappropriation of public funds by the Boris Johnson government, commuting between the Prime Minister's office and uh, the Ministry of Finance under Rishi Sunak. On Monday, however, he emerged from the darkness and admitted that the equivalent of around 5 billion euros in subsidies had been handed out to corrupt businessmen under his eyes. In some cases, the beneficiary companies did not even exist before the COVID crisis. Some of the recipients are now broke and the taxpayers' money can no longer be recovered. And then he did something unusual for Johnson's government. He took responsibility and resigned in anger in the upper house, publicly. During the crisis, Johnson and Sunak, fearing skyrocketing unemployment rates, gave unsecured loans and subsidies to business people, in large part to party buddies and Tory supporters. For example, Health Secretary Matt Hancock's innkeeper got a lucrative contract to make vaccine vials, despite the innkeeper's company being inexperienced in the field. Loans also flowed like mountain springs for dubious entrepreneurs. Using a minder with NU to check on things wasn't enough, and it was too late to make up for lost time. To make matters worse, after Johnson's lies in the party gate affair, the Secretary of State resigned. However, those who are really responsible are at a higher level and still, at the moment, firmly in their seats. And I'll see you in my next video. Dot scenes.